Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Engine Hall. Today is the end of the first day of my work week in 2024. So uh, if you already haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button and hitting the bell icon to see all locations that videos that come to the channel. So uh, today's video is um, me and DJ put something together for you guys here. So it was 24 trains for 2024. Remember last year did 20 three trains for 2023 but this year is that's a little different on well, my segment of the video was going to show um, you know what things I saw out at work on the railroad and also show some models that I did purchase this year from the um, model train store uh, Yankee Davin um, but DJ you know he likes steam so you definitely get a lot of steam action here on this uh, video here so Dr. Dr. Trainee uh, talk some stuff out, but um, waiting for the ride to come. So, then subscribe to the channel and thank you for all my 4,417 subscribers. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. All right, so let's get at it. Hello, everybody, and happy new year! Woohoo! It is 2024. I cannot believe that. As I said previously, I still think the year 2000 was like six years ago, but I can't believe we're here at 2024. So, the last couple of years we've been doing these videos. 22 trains for 2022, 23 trains for the year 2023, guess what we did? We upped it, 24 trains for the year 2024. This is gonna get a little out of hand when we get into the 2050s. But for right now, 2024, we got 24 train videos to show you that's right. And you know, in the past we've been doing real trains. Well, this year we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna show you some real trains. But we're also going to show you some models. That's right, Engineer Hall and I are going to show you some of our own models that we run for your enjoyment so you can get caught up on the real thing and the models for 24 trains for the year 2024. Hey, I have a quiz for you. What is a P42, an E8 diesel locomotive, and an SW1 have in common? You know what it has in common? They all pulled holiday trains last year, and I got them on video, so let's check them out. We're going to go to Haddon Heights to see an E8 Pennsylvania diesel. We're going to go to the Wilmington and Western Railroad to see an SW1 Holiday Light Express. And finally, we're going to go to Paradise, Pennsylvania, where a P42 rolled by playing that famous Christmas song, Jingle Bells on the Horn. Enjoy! Wow, that guy on that P-42 really has some musical chops. I heard further down the line he did the entire first act of Mamma Mia on the horn. Pretty cool. 
Anyway, we're going to continue the holiday fun here by going to some of my models here, and I'm going to show you two holiday trains that I was running. The first one's going to be a Yargo 080 Switcher from the Chesapeake in Ohio, pulling some holiday cars that light up. I think you'll really like it. And of course, we have to take a look at the Polar Express. Everybody loves the Polar Express, so check out my Berkshire locomotive pulling some Polar Express freight cars. <laughs> You know, I don't think it's uh, really hard to imagine that the Strasbourg Railroad is one of my favorite places to go to. They're local and they do a fantastic job of maintaining their historic equipment and running it on a very consistent basis. Now I was able to finally achieve one of my personal life goals where I was able to get all the models of the Strasbourg Railroad locomotives there. That's right, I have 89 which is a 260 Mogul, number 90, which is a 210 Decapod, number 475, which is a 480 Moily, and their very first steam engine that they ever had, the 060 number 31. And instead of going to the Strasbourg Railroad and see some of the real videos, let's go to my railroad and see some of my videos of our very own Strasbourg Railroad. Enjoy! Man, I'm really good at this. It's like tsunami sound. It's great. Oh, it's great.
I gotta be honest with you, that ghost whistle on that Strasburg 90 might be my favorite feature I've ever seen in a model train. This is awesome. All right, well, you know what? We got EH here that's going to be showing us some of his videos here. He has some real videos of some NS engines that I'm sure probably he was running. And then I'm sure we have some awesome videos from the E&H Railroad. Can't wait to see what Engineer Hall has for us in store for 24 trains for the year 2024. EH, take it away. Let's see what we got. Well, that's a good road by there that you know, to the bus there. But uh, here with a big smile on my face, I uh, got that 73 uh, hunting hair lead on this uh, train ahead this particular day. Then uh, followed by the uh, Union Pacific, uh, I believe that was uh, AC uh, 6000, you know, two locomotives that uh, not really around, um, lashed up in the concepts are uh, pretty cool. So that's got a big uh, smile on my face. So that's, some, of course, one of the trains I ran. So uh, let's take a look at another one here. And we got three more photos here of this uh, CSX-74 and this uh, NS-4004 uh, uh, locomotive. Uh, took this because uh, I think it was a cool lash up here. Once again, you know, it got the engine that was, I believe, made in 2015 when they first start uh, doing rebuilds there. Then you got that uh, CSX uh, locomotive with that wine 2 scheme. Love that scheme. So I think... It was a good picture to have in the archive because, once again, you won't see that lash up again in a long time, not even ever. So just a little picture in, uh, in history that I got, you know, for myself. So here we got a Dash 9 there on our right and to left of the ES44 uh, uh, model there. Um, took the Dash 9 that took the day, took a train west, you know, Early morning here in the uh, fall of a twenty uh, twenty three and stuff with the fresh cut uh, looking all uh, snazzy there with my um pro scale uh model uh, thermos I got uh, from them. But if you need any model revenue work for us like detailing, uh, weathering and stuff, uh, great guy to work with. Uh, did that uh Ricky 
uh, Rick and Morty uh, car for me and uh, check out Pro Scale Models on uh, Facebook and uh, YouTube there and I believe on Instagram also. Uh, check them out. Here we have um, the, the Canadian Fire here. This is what it looked like when I hopped out the, uh, the van just to look at all that uh, smoke there. That came all the way down to Canada near the uh, Philadelphia area. And I just uh, looking far as I can see, there's a uh, number of smoke. But uh, I took this photo, of course, archived in history to see uh, what happened at this particular day. Of course, running at a little stone train down to Delaware. So here we have a derailment at the uh, yard there. Um, the switch was lined sometimes, you know, it was uh, a lot of weak and uh, shoved against. Uh, more weight, you know, things like this does happen, but unfortunately, uh, uh, nothing really happened here. I just uh, got the re-rail route, pulled the car head on, over it, and uh, the wheel went back on the rail without, without incident. So, uh, that's one thing said that happened out here, and it's happened right in front of the office window, so I had to open the window to take a look at it. So, 99% of the time, you show up for work, everything goes planned. But that one percent that really hits the fan, it really does. Uh, this particular photos you see here, um, walked up to the train, noticed uh, you know some damage in the look, and saw that someone threw rocks at the windows and uh, busting them out. Then caused a lot of damage to these uh, locomotives here. Um, uh, fortunately, um, I couldn't work that day, so I just you know took photos of it. Used to um, document it. So hey, when we came to engines, this is what we saw, and um, this is what happened. And you know, just things that happens happens. So uh, I got a picture of it. So here we have a set of photos that I took when I stalled on the hill. Um, had a thirteen thousand ton train with uh, two engines. The second one had stopped working, and on the screen it said uh, no long dynamic braking or uh, motoring. So uh, we were so close from clearing the signal on the other side of it. It goes to a flat ground. So, you know, as I get my momentum, keep me going up the hill to the flat ground. And eventually, um, a lot of the weight is not on the hill pulling me back. Um, I took also took photos of what looked like um, looking down the uh, track. This is uh, facing uh, west. See how steep the grade is. Um, fortunately, we had to wait there for a minute, so we had other engines to uh, help shove us up over this little, uh, over the rest of the hill, because we got stopped on it. And uh, this is one of the things that happened. We have a, a lot of weight, and you know, equipment stopped working. You, you stall out, and you had to call AAA or somebody to come and get you and push you up the rest of the way. So it still happened this day and age. But um, yeah, we just sitting there waiting, just waiting for somebody to uh, come put us up now for the e nature railroad here um got bought some motor power uh, 2023 that i haven't get a chance to open up so i'm gonna do it for the video here um a lot of ns engines uh different paint schemes uh, the black and white you know get a little boring so we gotta spice up a little more color
engine there, Hall. That's a lot of diesels you got there. You know what? I got diesels too. I can share them. I'm going to show you two SW switchers pulling a couple cars with uh, some different livestock. You got to hear some sheep. You got to hear some cows. You got to hear some pigs. Roll it. doesn't get any better than that, right? Woohoo! Uh, you know, my wife has actually got me something really neat this year. She know what a big fan I am of Railroad is, so she got me the sign for the uh, train room. She said I could hang this up. Um, I, I really don't understand what it's supposed to say, but, you know, uh, you know, it's a thought that counts, you know, so, uh, you know, thanks. Oh, hey, let's take a look at some more steam locomotives here in the tri-state area, and I'm going to show you three that are in Delaware, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania. We're going to start in New Jersey with the Black River and Western Railroad, where they have a 280 consolidation number 60. Then we're going to go to Pennsylvania, to New Hope, Pennsylvania, where you're going to see another 280 consolidation number 40. And then finally, we're going to conclude in Wilmington, Delaware. We're going to take a look at an 080 steam locomotive number 58. So let's see some tri-state area steam in action. There's nothing like that tri-state steam action, huh? But speaking of outside the tri-state area, there's a whole bunch of different railroads. And one of the things I like to do every year is try to go, go on a couple trips where I could go see some different trains that I haven't seen before. And I was able to go to a couple of different places this year that I would like to share with you. The first place I was able to go to was the East Broad Top, which reopened this year, or 2023, and they had their 2A2 Makanda locomotive number 16 in action for the first time since 1953, which is crazy. And it was pulling a really nice train concept going down their line. I loved it. I hope you like it too. I was also able to go to the Cass Scenic Railway where I saw their parade of steam where they had not one, not two, not three, four, but five operating steam locomotives at once. 
I mean, nowadays it's rare to see one. I mean, to see five of them in action, creating all types of sounds and sights and sounds, it was fantastic. So check out the Parade of Steam at Cassini Railway. And finally, you knew I had to include the 611 in here, right? And it was actually caught it, uh, in Virginia this year, going from Goshen, or Goshen, Virginia, all the way to Stanton, Virginia, uh, going at track speed on the Buckingham branch. It was a really awesome event. I've already showed a couple videos in some of our regular videos here, but enjoy the 611, the Queen of Steam, do what it does best, going at track speed. Enjoy. Four trains for the year 2024. I can't believe it. That was a great way to start the year. You know, another good way to start the year is to go on our website, yankeedabler.com, and get caught up on all the newest things that we have coming up. As a matter of fact, I'm looking at our Facebook page right now. We just uploaded a whole bunch of new items the other day here, a lot of them from Scale Trains. Check it out for our N Scale and HO fans here. We got some C39 8 Rivet Counter Diesel Locomotives. And such road names as CSX, Conrail, Norfolk Southern, whoo, 
I'm getting excited about that. How about this? We also have some scale traits HO scale gondolas. A row names like CB and Q, Burlington Route, Erie, New York Central, Nickel Plate Route. Oh man, goodness, this is awesome. How about this? N scale and HO. We got some scale train HO and N scale thrall 48 foot two hood coil steel cars. Try saying that three times in a row. Wow, we did, we got a whole bunch of stuff, and this is the beginning of January. We're going to continue to get new stuff in here, and the best way to check it out is to go on our website, yankeedabbler.com, see what we have available. If you find something that you like, get it in your cart, get it checked out so we can get it shipped to you, and you can have hours of railroading fun. I know you're really going to like it. If you're not already subscribed to the Engineer Hall's channel, I don't know what you're doing. Hit that subscribe button. Start the new year off right by subscribing to the Engineer Hall channel. I mean, what other channel out there does the stupidest things possible for your railroading entertainment? There is nobody else that's doing this, okay? So get subscribed here. Our goal is to get the 5,000 subscribers this year, okay? And if we do that, Engineer Hall and I have been talking, we're going to do one of three things. Are you ready? The first one, we are going to rebuild a Hudson from the ground up. No Hudsons exist anymore. We are going to build one, probably with Legos, but we're going to do it. Number two, if we get 5,000 subscribers, we're going to go to every single one of our subscribers' houses and hand deliver a diesel locomotive. It's going to be really challenging when we get overseas, but it is what it is. Or the third option is we'll just make a video saying thank you, we got the 5,000 subscribers. So I can guarantee one of those three things will happen. But in order for you to find out, you're going to have to click subscribe. So get us the 5,000. We would really appreciate it. We're going to conclude this video by saying thank you very much for coming. Thanks for watching us. Thanks for supporting us. And we will see you all throughout the year talking about trains and everything about railroading fun and HO and N scale and uh, O scale, whatever. We've got it all. We're going to talk about it and hopefully entertain you in the process. So for everyone here at Yankee Dabbler, where of course every day is a train show, thanks very much for watching and I hope you all have a very happy new year. Now if you excuse me, I'm going to continue working on my DJ Tsunami sounds. Because I feel like i got a real future in this. I mean, it's just like listening to the real thing. I don't know what, you know, repeat it's got nothing on me.